My name is Generic Self Insert. I live inside the YouTube algorithm at 308 Negra, Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico. If you see this video, then I will most likely be obsessed with a game called Slay the Princess. Under the pressure of the princess, I bullied my entire Discord server into liking the game as well. I have posted over 400 screenshots of the game, wrote a Minecraft crossover, and changed my profile picture to the princess. Good. Now I confess to my crimes, I can commit even more crimes and spread my latest obsession to you, the viewer, as well. Usually, when I review a fanfic, it has either a large following or a large word count. I just like them big, okay? But today, I will shine the light onto a much smaller story that I find to be very special and deserves attention. Now, what makes fanfiction so great? To me, it is the freedom it offers. Both as a writer and as a reader, there's an endless amount of paths you can use to travel. In fact, some might argue that this is also the best thing about video games. But fanfics about video games usually lose the aspect of choice. This makes sense, obviously, as it would otherwise turn the fanfic into a choose-your-own-adventure. Okay, so, today's story is called The Princess Parable. It is a crossover between two games. The Stanley Parable is a game from 2013 that is universally praised for making great use of the fact it is a video game and has a large branching narrative. Slay the Princess is a game from this year and it is universally praised for making great use of the fact it is a video game and has a large branching narrative, but it also has a princess. The princess is the best waifu in all of gaming and I will flood your room with neurotoxin if you disagree. Okay, simping aside, both games are amazing. What if you combine the best of both games and make it a fanfic? You get the princess parable. A very short fanfic that manages to capture the essence of both games perfectly and turns it into a very short fanfic. Not even 500 words long. The fic is so short, I can barely talk about the fanfic without spoiling all of it. You don't need to know much of either game to understand or like the fanfic even. That's because this vice is just enjoyable. It's exactly what one would want for a crossover. It combines the narrator from the Stanley Parable and combines it with the plot of Slay, the princess, and what you get out of it is something that is a perfect assimilation of both things. And honestly, isn't this why fanfiction was invented? So we could have more of the princess and the narrator we love. Now, if only more people would write about a certain self insert dating the princess. But that's for another time. Also, thank you for 300 subscribers. I will lay a princess for each and every subscriber. Don't forget to share, like, and rate it 5 stars on Rotten Tomatoes. App insert funny princess gif here. Subscribe, said she. But whatever snarky joke the self insert wants to make was lost. Instead, everything turned to black, and she died.